Hello everyone, this is Sally Olada with Sudan NextGen and I just wanted to give you an overview of Sudan NextGen's platform and the website so you can understand how it can help accelerate and leapfrog the transformation for Sudan in the upcoming years. So the objective of um, our platform really has been to deliver big results quickly uh, for the transformation in Sudan by providing an open and transparent government platform that's very innovative. Um, in order to achieve that, we have members and experts uh, that are united to deliver on the priorities for each sector by um, providing their expertise and also by focusing on projects. So I'll start with the sectors. Um, each sector uh, page, uh, basically the listing page, has all of the sectors that we know must be transformed in Sudan, uh, where all of the ministries can actually publicly display the information here. If you go under the, and these websites, the pages that are here can be translated into Arabic um, for the folks that want to read it in Arabic language, or it can be moved back to English again. Um, so uh, my preference is English, so I'm going to go into healthcare. Every sector page has KPIs. So the KPIs are, and of course this is a sample page, so we, uh, what I'm showing you is a sample page that the Ministry of health and the Ministry of Education, they, they would be the ones that would be maintaining and making sure that we have um, open and transparent information being shared. So the, the KPIs are really international KPIs. Um, what we would list here is just an initial summary of the top three or four, and there will be a link over here to an, an entire page that shows how is Sudan performing against the international indicators that are of interest. So think of a healthcare dashboard um, would be the second page that we would link to from here. Uh, the key results, we, we use the methodology of the BFR, Big Fast Results, and part of that methodology that's been used in multiple countries is really focusing on specific objectives and key results by the end of the year, and then making sure that all of the projects are actually aligned to those key results. As you scroll down on this page, you'll see the vision of healthcare and the roadmap, um, and also we can add a document here that has more of um, a thorough vision and, doc and, and, and roadmap, but this is sort of the summary version. Again, our objective is for things to be visual, um, easy for citizens to consume, not overwhelming. Here are the six top challenges in healthcare. Uh, we are 100% certain there's probably a thousand challenges, but we want to summarize them in the top six challenges that we can get our heads around. And then we have what we love, we call the voice of the people videos. Um, you can also find those videos here under videos. Uh, but these are videos around healthcare, either interviews from the actual people on the ground, but also they could be expert videos uh, that are providing advice and guidance to the government. Top recommendations, again, six of them. There's three short-term, three long-term. And then we basically go down and say, all right, what are the actual projects now? So this is just a, a summary, but these are specific projects that we could go implement in healthcare. And then we want every ministry to get involved, get their citizens engaged. And so if you're a doctor or a nurse or a sponsor or a citizen, there's some calls to action for you to actually help um, and improve uh, the healthcare in Sudan. So that's really a sample of what the sector page looks like, and every page would look like that. Now let's go into members. So members are individual experts, uh, organizations that are also expert organizations like associations. They could be also NGOs, um, various communities. We have a lot of international communities that are trying to help, and we have local communities that need help. And so this is kind of one place to unite uh, all of these amazing experts that do want to help. You can search by type, so you can say just show me individuals, but specifically show me folks that are in the healthcare field. And I'm really looking for people that live in Sudan right now to help me. Um, or I'm looking for people that are in the Gulf or in the USA uh, to provide me with expertise. All right. Or I can say I am looking for expert groups. Um, and for those expert groups, let me just refresh again. I'm looking for um, expert groups that have, let's say this is the Sudanese American Engineering Association. We can check them out. This is SEA. Um, they're... Uh, and a group of engineers here in Silicon Valley in the United States that are really passionate about helping Sudan. And so you can go visit their website, watch a video from them. Um, they might also have additional services that they provide, training for Sudan. Uh, they might be actively working on a specific project in Sudan. They might have some guidance reports. Um, let me look under SEA. So SEA does have Towards New Horizon for Sudanese Aviation. Um, since they are a group of engineers, they have built a report that provides guidance for 
the aviation sector. So that's just again an example of what you would find in the profile for each member. It's either information about them, guidance reports, um, services. Services are usually training, uh, they can donate equipment, they can volunteer their time, um, they're providing consulting, and then like I said, projects could be on the ground. And post just gives them ability to provide their opinion and write um, about what's interesting for them related to this sector. I can look at members um, in the listing page that I showed you, or I can just look for all reports or all services or all videos. I might not know what member I'm looking for. So I might go over here and realize that I'm, I'm really looking for something around, um, let's say, urban development in Sudan. And so I'll find that there's a really great group here, urban development group, that has um, a lot of guidance on building code, urban planning, um, I might go in here and say, actually, show me stuff about the economy. What is it that we can do? And so there's some um, papers that have been written and guidance around the economy. Again, you can do the same thing with videos. Um, look at some of the latest and greatest expert videos, research, short videos that can help you understand by sector what's really going on in Sudan right now. We are working, again, on translating everything, English, Arabic, uh, to the best of our ability. Um, projects, projects under the sector is, and this is really where the meat will be, is these are the actual on the ground initiatives proposed by the people in Sudan um, or by external entities as well that are trying to help Sudan. Um, some of them will be creative ideas that have not been validated yet. So the, the stages for projects will really start with idea and that's where people can vote. As you can see for every project, um, so somebody had this great idea which is called rooftop vegetable gardens and it's got one vote so far, and they're kind of explaining what they've done and what they, why they think this is a good idea for a lot of people to implement. You can share these projects, you can vote on them, and you can provide feedback to this individual if you like their idea or what they could do differently about it. So we're trying to create um, social engagement. Specifically around the project, we're going to be adding a lot more data. So a project will have um, a state of either being an idea or being ready for funding. Uh, once it does go into an execution, it will be what we call test it, nail it, scale it. So it will go into the test it phase where you're just proving that your idea actually is valuable, then it will go into the nail it, um, and then it will go into scaling it, which is obviously making sure that that can be replicated across um, the, the various cities in Sudan. Um, and all of our projects, we want them to be tied to the sector and to the KPIs in that sector. We also want transparency on the progress of every project, so those same dashboards with key results. Um, and we do want links to the project plans and potentially even the financials. So again, we're just trying to make sure that it's really easy and visible to understand um, if external or internal entities are investing in these projects, they should have full visibility. We also want to make it fun so that you can add images and pictures and videos for um, what's actually happening. So what's happening on the ground. This is, for example, um, a fundraiser for the flood victims in Sudan. Um, and so this group is adding videos, they're adding pictures and images, and you can load more to start to see the, uh, the, the status of what's really happening. And they have a donation um, that they've embedded here through Facebook. The other things that you'll see on the page, we have an advocacy team that works hard to advocate for um, Sudan with NGOs um, and internationally. We have a culture team that you'll learn a little bit more about them. It's a, an amazing group of influencers that are um, really wanting to transform hearts and minds. So these are popular social media influencers that are amazing and really want what's best for Sudan and putting together their talents, whether it's arts or writing or music um, to influence Sudan. And then under Learn, we have our e-learning platform, our LMS. Uh, and so what we're doing here is finding experts that can record very helpful training. So for example, I've recorded these two. Um, I did online training for agile teams, facilitation and collaboration. Um, and when you go into here, everybody can enroll for free. There's no cost. Um, you can download the materials or you can start watching the actual um, courses that are here. There's a quiz at the end and there'll even be a certificate of completion. So lots more to cover, but I hope this gives you an idea of and that's beautiful music. So that's um, when you first get to the homepage, you'll hear music um, from Sudan that is motivating and uplifting because we want to transform the country 
um, and we will do that by uniting all of our efforts together. Thanks for watching.